we see in our first reading today how God changed the name of Abraham and Sarai to Abraham and Sarah, right? And told Abraham that you will be an ancestor of a multitude of nations, and Sarah from her will rise nations, kings of peoples shall come from her. And for that to happen, God will give them a son. And it says here, Abraham fell on his face and laughed. And I could just imagine like, like uh, uh, Abraham like bawling, like chuckling, like laughing, right? Is this a big joke? Like he was just like, couldn't believe, right? This, this promise of God that God will give them a child even at their old age. And Abraham said, Abraham said, can a child be born to a man who is 100 years old? Can Sarah, who is 90 years old, bear a child? But the Lord assured them that he is a trustworthy God and that he will fulfill his promise. And of course, we know that they believed, and after a year, they bore a son, Isaac. So the thing is, what how, how, do we, how do we handle, like, uh, let's say, promises of God to us? Maybe we sense that in prayer. Or maybe somebody gave a prophetic word to us. That, you know, that, and then we bring it to prayer, and we really sense that it is really coming from the Lord. I remember when I was like, really struggling uh, in the past with anxiety and depression, and I was like, really having severe insomnia. So I got prayed over by a brother priest who really has to give a pro pro prophetic word. And he gave me uh, a, a prophetic word from Proverbs 3, uh, verse 24 to 26. It says there, you can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. When I got this prophetic word, I said, how could this happen? Like it's impossible. Like there are nights where I, I don't sleep at all. I, I couldn't believe this happening. And yet, it's true. Right now, I'm sleeping soundly. I'm sleeping like a baby. But it took years for this to happen. But during that time, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Okay? So when I, uh, during that time when I was like also struggling, uh, I remember I had to print out my homily. And I have to read it word by word by word. Otherwise, I would forget what I'm going to say. Okay? And somebody prayed over me and, uh, and had an image of me like on a stage walking back and forth like that, like preaching. And I said, I couldn't believe it. And true yeah. enough, like, you know, uh, when, when, when uh, COVID hits, uh, I, I just stepped out in faith. I, I, I remember... Um, that prophetic word. That's why I started preaching in front here on Sunday. I had to work towards it for it to happen. And, and, and I know right now, like uh, people have been giving me prophetic words about what I would be doing uh, as, a minister, as my ministry in the future. And I tell you, it's mind boggling. Like I, I, I couldn't believe the Lord, you could really use me in doing that. That's why right now I'm, I'm stepping out in faith. Like, leading healing services, giving prophetic words, going out evangelizing people. I have to work towards it, right? It's not just like automatic, I will experience that. Just like Abraham and Sarah, the Lord promised them a child, but they need to be intimate towards one another. And, and I could just imagine they were like laughing when they're intimate towards one another, <laughs> right? They're to saying to one another, aren't we too old for this? <laughs> 190 years old, right? 190. But they had to do it. They had to work towards it as a sign of their faith. So whenever we receive prophetic words, of course, we have to discern it, right? Bring it to God. Right? That's why it's good, write it down, record it on your phone, and then listen and pray about it. And then work towards it. Right now, I'm reading books about signs and wonders, about healing, about prophecy, and I'm stepping out in faith and really practicing it so that the prophetic words that was given to me will come to fulfillment. And that's my prayer also for all of you. 
Okay? Take the word of God seriously. Even though it seems ridiculous, have faith. Because God who is trustworthy will fulfill his promise.